Thank you. Joining us now from Senate Health and also Senate Armed Services, he's Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen. Uh, Mullen. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, the Republic. Really, it's good to see you again. The Republican majority in the House is getting slimmer by the day. It's now 217 to 213. Republican uh, Congressman Gallagher is going to leave soon in a few weeks. What do you think of what's going on in the House? Well, I think they're in a little bit of disarray. I've said this quite a bit. People in politics will hurt you a lot to gain themselves a little. And what's happened here is, is in the House, they seem to be eating their own. And I have great friends over at the House. Uh, the speaker uh, is a good friend. Chairman Jason Smith is a good friend. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is, I consider her a friend. And so I, it, there, there's a large group of people over there that I have friends with. But they can't get out of each other's way because one is a political year, and two, uh, they're very, they're upset. They're upset the way the government is running, which we all are. Uh, they're upset at leadership, which they had a leadership change that didn't help. Now they think that changing the leadership again is going to help. That's not going to change. What ha what's going to have to happen is in the House they're going to have to come together and decide. You know, we're not all going to get what we want. But we're going to have to negotiate on things that we can get accomplished and then consider that a win. And as a team, even though there's great players on the Republican Party right now, as a team, they're not functioning well. And once they can get their plays called played, they will start showing the American people that we're the right party for change. Yeah, got to get some wins on the board. I mean, they have had right. victories. Uh, people don't talk about them. Uh, you know, the, there's a re the revolt is about stopping runaway government spending. Uh, right. fueling runaway inflation. It's been pointed out, by the way, inflation is up nearly 19 percent compounded under Biden. It's been pointed out the U.S. federal government took in tax revenue of about $4.5 trillion in the last fiscal year. That's more than the GDP of every country on Earth other than China. Um, right. But the President Biden just signed that $1.2 trillion spending bill. Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene wants to oust House Speaker Mike Johnson. Watch this. What I want to do is try to make sure the American people can win at the end of this rainbow. This bill has now been passed. We're spending money that we don't have. We're going to rack up more debt. I yeah. disagree with that. I want to focus now on securing the border of the United States. We are barely hanging on to our republic, a nation in debt with over $34 trillion in debt. And we cannot have a Republican Speaker of the House that is willing to do the bidding of Chuck Schumer. Republican voters want fighters in the House of Representatives to fight like President Trump, and that is exactly what I'm doing. Speaker Johnson knows this, right? I mean, Biden has a $350 billion green energy slush fund in the budget. He's using that to pass out money to his, you know, climate change donors, just like student loan bailouts. I mean, government watchdogs found hundreds of billions of dollars in waste, fraud, and abuse and pandemic spending. Do the American people see that that money could have been used to, say, give teachers raises, give cops raises? Uh, refund the police, give firemen raises, fix roads and bridges. You know what I mean? That's common sense stuff. Final yeah. word, Senator. And I do agree with all that. All those raises they're talking about though, are handled at the state level, not necessarily the federal level. But when you start talking about actually cutting spending, the dirty secret is the, three, the 12 uh, appropriation bills that we just passed the last few weeks only represent 30% of the budget. 70% of the budget is on autopilot. There is no way we can possibly balance the budget unless we get into the 70 percent on auto spending and what that 70 percent is going to do it's going to touch at least 50 percent of everybody that that, that that votes out there it's going to touch them in some way because 50 percent of the population is somewhat dependent on the federal government so if we're going to get serious about this then this then the republican party is going to have to open that 70 percent up take it away from mandatory spending and start having actual votes on those spending bills as well. Got it. Senator Mullen, we love having you on. It's always great talking to you. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us tonight. Please. We appreciate you very much.